Hey guys, so here's the Siege uh, offense vid I promised you guys. So here I'm going to take the Maratha. Again, a very good Siege uh, tactic uh, faction. Um, very useful. Again, artillery. Uh, for, very important thing on uh, when you do offensive siege battles. Um, keep your artillery in line and concentrate on one area of the wall. I'm going to concentrate on uh, the middle area that you see right there. And here are the elephants again. Um, you guys love them so much from my uh, online battle. I mean, yeah, I pretty much love them too. So you're going to see how I concentrate the artillery all on one area of the wall. This is because you want to break. So that's the first thing you want to do in a siege battle is open up uh, doors for your troops to attack from. Now they're going to be on the high ground and just uh, getting your troops close and get, trying to get over them isn't as good as actually getting straight into the fort. So that's one thing I'm going to do is uh, just focus all my artillery on one side of the wall. And the second thing that's very important is spread out your troops. Now, um... It, it doesn't matter if they take hits going to the fort, and they will take hits going to the fort, it's guaranteed. Oh man. Oh shit. I killed four elephants with one cannibal. Lucky bastard. Okay, so you can see I'm going to try to surround the fort. Uh, my artillery is still going to fire, and uh, once the artillery makes the hole, I'm going to send my hand to hand infantry in there. Again, again I'm Ratha, very excellent hand to hand infantry. Okay, so the hole is made. Nice uh, little graphics there. So we're gonna wait until the rubble clears up. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna send all my troops in on every front. The reason you wanna do this is to, to not, um, to sort of spread out the American defensive troops. Now, um, if they're spread out, they're not gonna pay attention to your uh, hand infantry as much. Who's gonna just go charge in? Now these muskets that you use the front, they're gonna just take the front wall, keep the American defenders on the on the wall they're occupied, while my three squads of hand infantry go into the hole. And you can see I surrounded them on three fronts, so you spread out the defensive force. Um, it uh, helps especially um, in the outnumbering factor. Now the Americans are going to send men also um, outside the fort itself through the door. And here come the infantry with my men flanking on the side. And now they're going to send men in there to try to hold me off as well. So you can see how they shoot ropes. They climb relatively fast, you can see that there's no opposition there whatsoever, so I made a hole in basically a perfect location, so I could get that to the side of the fort without any trouble. And here comes that anti infantry. The Minutemen shouldn't be that much of a problem, again, just militia. And this is Medieval 2 style, guys, like, just make a hole, blitz, and that's basically it, and it works relatively well, especially if you're using anti infantry. And the two best factions for Siege is, like, uh, the, the ones that you wouldn't expect are basically the Ottomans and the Maratha Confederacy simply because they, they have the hand-to-hand -hand infantry. So you can see my guys climbing on the walls. So they're, they're going around the Americans on that side. Now they're going to keep them busy while my other troops just get up there. Like yeah, I'm not expecting them to stay there, they probably will route, but it's it's more of a distraction fight now. It's basically just trying to sprout their troops um, and try to get a good foothold in the fort after my hand infantry takes care of those uh, militia. That's basically it. That's how I take one of the four. Now, the second four I'm going to show you guys is uh, the big boy. The Star Fort. So here, again, the Ottomans. Probably the best siege faction in the game. So again, use the red units. Use musketmen to try to go on top of the walls. Use artillery to focus on one area of the wall where you're going to break. And again, hand-to-hand -hand infantry. Ottomans using the mob over here. Now, the mob isn't the best infantry. They, they rot pretty quickly. But in a mess, they are the best infantry to have because they always fight and you don't have to worry about them. So again over here, heavy infantry, um, the Grenadiers, Janissaries, very effective. These are Israeli line infantry. And again, Grenadiers on walls are very effective, they're excellent hand to hand infantry. Just you can't send them alone because without support there are just not enough men to take a wall. So you can see I'm going to concentrate at that little tower on the left flank. Try to make a hole from there. And there kind of goes the mortar fire again. Mortars again, really the only artillery you can use in a fort. Very demoralizing, especially when they use those incendiary rounds that you see. Killing quite a bit of my guys on those couple rounds. Okay, so again, uh, I separated my crew into four different sections. Uh, first, the guys are going to attack the front. Second, my hand infantry, which is going to blitz the wall once it's down. Um, third, my flanking crew of grenadiers, and fourth, my reserves of heavy infantry. 
So these guys are gonna try to get up here in that uh, main fort, keep them occupied for now. And these guys are just gonna sort of distract the Austrians again. The reason that you want to spread out your attack guys is you want to spread them out. Like I said before, just keep them occupied. If they're all in one area, you guys will never get by them. So here's the Grenadiers taking heavy fire uh, as they approach the fort. That doesn't matter, as, as long as they take the fire, um, your other guys can get there under harassed. So you can get uh, two or three divisions up there on the walls pretty easily. Now we can have Silk Austria on that side. So you see how the Austrians see that I'm going to blitz the wall, they're already setting up their men right there. And I've already set up my uh, hat to infantry right here, the mob. And there goes the wall. And you guys might think that you can't really go through that wall, infantry could go through it, you can see the little holes I'm going to show you very soon. And again, my men are on the wall distracting the Austrians from firing on my hand infantry as they approach. Again, forts, it's all a game of distraction and um, making the enemy uh, waste their fire on people that aren't as important as uh, they think they are. So here I'm going to meet the Austrian infantry at that uh, choke point. So my men seem to have taken that flank. Um, if they can't take it, my reserves are like 30 seconds away, so I'll just send them in. And the Austrians, uh, the Austrians turn around the wall, which is a good. Uh, very good thing for me especially because I'm going to flank them from that side uh, after. And again, the hard thing on forts, I'm not going to show you the whole battle because you guys know what to do once you get onto the walls or into the fort. It's just how to get into the fort that's the problem. And here's a very good way, just distract their infantry, use your hand to hand. It's very cheap, like one squad of these, uh, these mob guys probably cost less than 400 funds and compared to line infantry, infantry squad which is twice that much. And again, these men probably won't be a breakthrough, but at least they provide an excellent distraction um, for our men to get onto the walls. You see the little holes that are in the, in the fort. So Austrians on the wall are pretty much broken. Um, on this side, I'm not doing that as well though, but say my reserves in right there. Should be there in around a minute. And once they're on top, I should have a nice surrounding of the wall. Take out that middle um, place that you see right there. Still a couple Austrian and Alliance Fiji squads up there. Yeah, my squads are starting to wrap up my reserves are in there. And uh, again, Grenadiers, they hold off like way better than you expect today. Grenadiers, um, those, some of you guys think they're made for chucking grenades at the enemy. They're pretty much made for hand-to-hand -hand combat. And again, these guys aren't doing too well, but... I've taken out three of their light infantry squads from the fort and once I'm on the walls, it doesn't matter what their infantry is doing. As long as I get in there and uh, try to get a foothold is the only important thing. And I don't think I have to go too much into what to do after you um, take the fort. It's pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions on that, just ask me. I'll answer them to, to the best of my ability. Um, so here's the, another light infantry squad. The, another great thing you see. You just use the distraction, it gets all the infantry away from where your main attack is going. And um, you can see my men have taken the left flank. My reserves are climbing the right. It's pretty much that easy. Took the fort. Some of my men are going to get a light of fire from the walls and just lay lead all over the infantry in the middle. And here you can see my reserve is taking the red flag. So guys, I thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, again, I know siege tactics, like, very hard to attack. Especially when you're doing online, like, this is the AI, it's expert. But still, they won't make uh, super mistakes like sending four squads of infantry after, uh, like, two or three divisions of hand infantry. So, um, that's, that's what you want to do when you attack a fort. It's basically just a battle of distraction. Distract their men from firing on the guys, which really don't matter as much to you and focus on one area while spreading out their firepower so they don't get as much uh, damage done. So guys, I thank you for watching again. Um, remember to check out my channel and subscribe. Um, so thank you to all my subscribers again. Um, send me suggestions, I love hearing what you guys have to say. And I'll uh, see you guys soon. Peace.